So you want to get the essential mod in Minecraft? Well, guess what? You found the perfect video for it. We're going to show you everything. First things first, you want to go to the second link in the description down below. That takes you here. This is the essential download page. And once you're here, what you want to do is go ahead and click download. Then scroll down and you'll see the different versions. Now for Minecraft 1.20.2, the version we're installing here, only the fabric version is available. So we want to come over here under fabric and click on MC 1.20.2. When you do that, Essential will start downloading it. While it's doing that, how much from our company, Simple Game Hosting. One of the coolest features that fabric has is the ability to play Minecraft with your friends using fabric. But there are some limitations to that. The biggest being it's hard to install a bunch of mods and play those with your friends using the Essential mod. It's also hard to host a bunch of different people because everyone who joins you via the essential mod is using your computer's resources and basically lagging your computer, meaning you're going to need a decent computer to host a few friends using the essential mod. Luckily, Simple Game Hosting takes care of all of that, allowing you to quickly and easily set up a server with mods, plugins, mod packs. Yes, mod packs with one click installation. You can play hundreds of mods super easily. And on top of all that, there's expert live chat support and a high quality help center to help you every step along the way of hosting a server and playing with your friends. So while the essential mod can help you play with one friend, if you want to play with more or play with a ton of mods or don't want to have to worry about networking and don't want to have to worry about your computer's hardware or having a good network connection to be able to host to someone connecting to you and all that, Simple Game Hosting solves all of it. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown dead XYZ slash SGH to make your Minecraft server and play with your friends the simple way. Anyway, now that we've got Essential downloaded, you may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. That's perfectly normal. And what we then want to do is download Fabric. As I mentioned, we downloaded the Fabric version of the Essential mod, so we need the Fabric mod loader. Luckily, in the description down below, we have a link to here, which is our complete guide on getting Fabric, but we're going to go over this in this video as well. Once you're here, go ahead and click Download to be taken to Fabric's official download page. On this page, we want to make sure we're downloading the Universal Jar, this little link here, because that's going to allow us to install other mods in the future very easily. So go ahead and click on the Universal Jar here, and Fabric will begin downloading. From there, let's go ahead and minimize our browser, and we want to move Essential and Fabric to our desktop. For me, they're in my Downloads folder, but for you, they're going to be wherever you download files to, typically, most likely your Downloads folder. From our desktop here, let's go ahead and start off by installing Fabric. To do that, right click on Fabric, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java. Well, if you don't have Java, you need to download and install Java 17. Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods, like Essential. So we need to download and install it to make sure we can get Fabric installed and thus our Minecraft mods installed. You may also need to run the jar fix. And what this is going to do is take all the files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work happily together. But once you've got the jar fix, and Java, you can now open up Fabric if you couldn't before. Just right click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. That then opens up the Fabric installer where you want to make sure that 1.20.2 is selected, Create Profile is selected, and click Install. Fabric will now install. The only reason you have issues here is if Minecraft and the Minecraft Launcher are open, make sure they're both closed, or if you've never played Minecraft 1.20.2 before. If that's the case, go open it just to the main menu, close out of it, and then you're good to go. We can go ahead and click OK here to close out of Fabric, and then we can delete Fabric from our desktop. Now let's get Essential installed. To do that, you want to open up the Minecraft Launcher, and we need to play Minecraft using our Fabric installation. How do we do that? Well, it's probably already selected for you, and you literally just click play twice. Let me show you. So in the Minecraft Launcher here, we can see Fabric Loader 1.20.2 is selected. Click play, click play again. There you go. But if you don't have Fabric here, make sure it's not in this drop down. And if it's still not there, go ahead and click installation. Then you want to make sure mod is checked in the top right. If mod is not selected, Fabric won't be there. Check it. Boom. There it is. If you still don't have Fabric or the 1.20.2 version of Fabric, click new installation. What are we going to name this? Well, we're going to name it simplegamehosting.com, of course, because that's the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends. And then go ahead and click the version drop down box here. If you want to select Fabric Loader 1.20.2, because that is what we're wanting to install. We want to install Fabric. And then I'm going to go ahead and select more resolution. You don't have to do that. And uh, I would like to apologize, actually. I just realized I told everyone to play Minecraft. I lied to you. That was a failure on my part, and I truly would like to apologize. That was my bad. What you want to do is actually be in the Minecraft launcher here. So for those of you who had the fabric installation, you click play, click play again, close out of Minecraft. I apologize. That was my mistake. My mistake there. All right. Every, is everybody back here in the Minecraft launcher? I actually feel really bad about that. Everybody back in the launcher. Okay. 
Now that we're in the launcher, what we want to do is click on installations at the top. Now you already had a fabric loader. If, if you had opened Minecraft, awesome. If you didn't have fabric loader here, you had to create one. That's good too. Whatever you had to do to get fabric installed for this to say fabric loader 1.20.2 under it, hover over this and click the folder icon. That's going to open up your dot Minecraft folder here to install essentials. All we've got to do is add it to our mods folder, but there's no mods folder here. So let's go ahead and right click, create a new folder, title it mods, MODS, all lowercase, exactly like that. And then open up our mods folder. Now drag and drop essential from your desktop into your mods folder, right? Like so once it's in there, essential is installed and now we can play minecraft we either want to use that fabric loader installation or the simplegamehosting.com when we create it it doesn't matter which but now you can open up minecraft and now essential is installed so there we go <laughs> that's now set up i apologize for those of you who opened minecraft and had to close it again it's almost like we're installing forge mods where it's easier to open minecraft and drag and drop that way but nevertheless minecraft is now opening essentials is now opening Did you see that little essential pop up that said essential and loaded itself so basically we just sit back and wait and we'll meet you on the main menu where there's no denying essential is working you can see in the top left we can switch our accounts we can see essential on the top right we can host a world social settings all of that stuff if we go into social here and agree we will be able to see where we can see all of our friends invite them all of that stuff we can launch a single player world and then we can also invite people that way but again adding a bunch of mods to this and all that can cause issues if you go to invite here you can go ahead and invite someone you will also have to have a decent enough computer in order to be able to host your friends because they are using some of your computer resources by being basically in your world. So keep that in mind. And if you do want to host a Minecraft server simply without having to worry about all of that, go to Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown.xyz slash SGH. Nevertheless, you now have the essential mod. Enjoy it, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.